Harry Potter is very much like a white liberal dream. Yes. Like, and Percy Jackson is a reality. Like, Harry Potter is, Voldemort is the problem. There's something wrong with Voldemort. He was just born wrong. And there's nothing that anyone could have ever done in the history of his life to ever save him. They make up some, like, crazy love potion nonsense to try to give it like a magical excuse and it very much reminds me of true crime people who try to gaslight themselves into thinking that people are just born serial killers like no they go through lots of abuse and trauma that never gets helped that's how people end up being serial killers that's the only reason why that happens but like harry potter tells you no one could ever save this person there's just something off and wrong and bad about him he is the only problem in this entire world Mm -hmm. It's not the world itself. It's not the government that lied to everyone and scapegoated a child and told everyone that this child was lying when he was telling the truth. And it's not any of the other people involved. It's not the government as an entire system. It's not the school. It's not Dumbledore. Everyone else is great and everyone else is wonderful. It's just Voldemort. And if we kill Voldemort, this one singular person, everything else will just go back to normal and everything else will be fine. And like Harry and Hermione and Ron, no, they don't have any trauma at all that they need like decades of therapy to deal with. They're just immediately fine and get married and have a, and like punch out a bunch of kids and name them really weird names. And they're absolutely, <laughs> and they're absolutely fine. Everything's fine because like Voldemort is on. From. And he was the only problem that existed. Percy Jackson, on the other hand, is like, no. This is like a systemic issue. This is generational trauma that has literally been going on for thousands of years. And me, Percy Jackson, I know that this is bullshit because my mom loves me. And I also see how they like treat people and how they gaslight me and how they scapegoat me and how they treat me. And I tell gods to their face that they can do better. And so instead with Percy Jackson, he's like, I can't fix everything myself because I am one person. There is no way that I could fix every single problem in this world. And you know the entire time from the first book on that it is the God's fault that all of these things are going on and that these kids are victims. And so when you get to the end and he has his scapegoat generational trauma moment where he uses his power to help everyone else and to help the gods actually take care of their kids instead of ignoring them, it's and that is like the reality of how these things actually work. You can't save your entire family or your entire world just as one person, that's not possible, but you can do little things along the way that creates like a ripple effect that makes other people feel like they can stand up and do things later on that will make change happen more and more and more. That's like how that actually happens. And so like Percy Jackson is like reality, like, yeah, everything isn't fixed. And like the books that are coming out right now, Percy questions whether he should have done more because he's not sure if he did enough to help everybody or not. And yeah, that happens. I have like crises of faith on a break. Every time I see my my sister and my niece, I have a, a crisis of faith about, should I be doing more? Should I be saying more? Is my niece actually okay? Will she be okay in the future? If she's not okay in the future, is it my fault because I didn't say or do something more right now? Like, it's totally normal to feel like that. In Harry Potter, it's just like, yeah, everything's great. I'm never gonna question every decision I ever made. And everything's just going to go back to normal as if none of this ever happened. Yeah. And like, it's just literally the last line is in a scar never hurt again. Like, <laughs> yes. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like I, that's just crazy. And it just shows that's who those two people are. Like one of them actually cares about people and one of them does not and lives in like a fantasy world where everything is that easy to be fixed. Once you see that you can't, unsee it like once you see that you can't take it away like that's part of like most people's unhappiness when it comes to how harry potter ended is that everything was so simple and that it was just like how is it possible that this huge complex story is ending in in like this in such a simplistic way like people came the reason why fan fiction is better than the actual story is because the fan fiction talks about all the complexity of everybody involved 